In this uh, video, we're going to cover the uh, main screen navigation uh, controls, and we're going to talk about how the Dart application is uh, put together. Uh, when you first come into Dart, you're going to be faced with the home screen, uh, which is this screen here. It's going to give you an overview of all the cases you have inside the current uh, Dart environment, and it's going to provide you with your case tree on the left-hand side, and it's going to give you your ribbon bar um, across the top showing you all the different applications and settings, et cetera, that you have uh, choices of. All right, so when you first start out on a Dart, you come into your main screen. If you have any reports in there, the reports are going to show up on the left-hand side. We call this the case tree view, which is the left-hand side of our screen over here. Again, this is our case tree. On the right-hand side is our detail screen, so anything that uh, is shown or chosen on the left hand side is going to show up in our right hand side or the uh, detail screen. And in the detail screen, we may have sub screens. So if you click on a sub screen within the detail screen, it'll show you uh, the sub data or the data that goes to that tab. So for example, calls, SMS, and general details, as I'm showing you on these sub screens here. You can also see things such as view source XML, which will open up another tab and show an XML reader showing you the XML for that report. So all of the options within the detail screen relate directly to the chosen report on the left-hand side here under my case tree. I can also add and I can remove things from that case tree. Notice at the top, I have different icons for uh, different things that I can do within that case tree. Now what that is showing me, and that's showing me a uh, ad report, a add SIM card and a delete selected report. And that belongs specifically to this subset of records under standalone reports. And if I select the uh, standalone reports at the top, notice it shows all of the objects or pieces that have been added into that standalone reports. And again, once I clicked on that standalone reports option, it showed me all the sub menus, or excuse me, all of the uh, sub reports in the detail screen on the right hand side. Now, if I want to add a report to this standalone reports, I'd simply just click on add report. I can add a SIM card again, or I could delete any one of the reports that are inside of uh, this group. If I need to add a group, uh, I can quickly add groups by clicking on add group. I'm going to type in the name of the group that I want to add. So this is going to be my kidnapping case. I click OK. And now I have a kidnapping case, which appears down the bottom. And notice there are no records in that, uh, in that group yet because I haven't added anything to that group. Okay, so I have my standalone reports. I have some uh, records here. And I have my kidnapping case, which is down here. Um, I also have a manual case, uh, which has some entries in it that uh, are coming in from a manual case that we'll talk about later on in a uh, future video. Now. From the standalone reports, if I wish to add or remove um, anything from this screen, I can simply click on the report that I want to remove and then click on the delete item. Now I'll delete that specific report. Now if I delete this report right here, this Motorola V3 Razor, I also have to remove the SIM card that goes to it because that SIM card is a separate object and is treated separately within my case file structure. So just removing the Motorola report does not remove the sub objects or the SIM. So if I have multiple SIM cards under this report, it's not going to remove that or those SIM cards just yet. I actually have to go in one by one and remove those. All right. Um, so anytime I'm in any screen and I want to return to this set of uh, or this sub menu, all I have to do is click on the home screen and the home screen will take me out. So if I'm anywhere else in my, my system and I click home, again, that will take me back to my home with my case tree on the left hand side and my uh, detail screen on the right hand side. Uh, if I am, if I for some reason can't, uh, when I click on the home, if for some reason it doesn't go back to this, okay then simply click on any other option and then click on home. Um, as every once in a while, the system does kind of, or make an error and it, it kind of screws up, but uh, that doesn't happen very often. Uh, so if I'm in another tool here, 
So I'm in my portal settings, click on home. Again, this takes me back to my main screen or my main options. Okay, so that's the basic main navigation for uh, the Dart application. Uh, again, left hand side is going to be your case tree where everything happens. Right hand side is going to be your uh, detail screen. And then across the top, again, is your ribbon bar or where all of your options are for your different applications within Dart.